Dragon of peace, dragon of love, dragon of joy, come to my life, dragon of strength, power and peace again, dragon of karma, come to me, dragon of vitality, Dragon of sensibility, higher awareness, dragon of love, dragon of strength, courage and fierce love, dragon of heart, come to me. I'm evoking the power of the dragon within, so be it and so it is, so above and so below. Amen, Amin, Aho, Namaste. And because you're here right now and you are watching this, you're being called to the dragon vibration, which is one of the most fascinating energies it's one of the most majestic mysterious mystical energies dragons are one of the most powerful if not the most powerful totem animal spirit in existence and I want to make sure that we are on the same page here we are talking and we are channeling and we are invoking and we are calling the energies of the dragons of light, the ones that are here present in this beautiful, crazy times, and we need them to help us raise our vibrations, to help us assist humanity in this crazy yet wonderful times. Other qualities, some other traits are clarity. It is very important during these amazing times to be focused, to have clarity, to move forward in our lives. We need clarity. We need clear vision. Another trait would be decisiveness. Decisiveness, yes. Another one will be confidence, yes. Now, there is a big difference between confidence and arrogance, so I want you to understand um, that confidence is, it comes from a knowingness that we are powerful beyond our imagination, inspiration, ambition, optimistic, romantic, good fortune, abundance, prosperity, riches, yes, abundance of money also. So I've been working with the power of the dragon totem for quite some time and I receive many blessings from them and I wish you receive many blessings from them too. I work with the energy of the seven, seven dragons and yes, some of them are very fierce, but as I said, fierce love fierce truth, some of them are very graceful, some of them are very wise. So the seven dragons, I would like for you to invoke them. And I actually developed um, an empowerment, the seven dragon empowerment, and I will put a link underneath this video. And of course, this dragon pendant that I've been working with for a long time. This is my dragon organ pendant. And what I'm doing, I'm actually activating the energy right now so you guys can feel the energy and can be empowered with the energy of the dragon. The dragon energy has been used for many years by shamans, by light workers, by healers. And what it does, it just awakens the dormant spiritual energy in each and every one of us. It's here within us, in our heart energy center. We just need to remember it. We just need to activate it. When they come into your life, you will know it. You will definitely know it. And they will show up in your life in different ways and at different stages in your life. Dragons will show up 
in the trees, animals, birds, rocks, crystals, in the water. You just have to look for them, right? Um, I just came from Greece like a couple of weeks ago where I went on a sacred journey, very powerful. And I was drawn to this beautiful tree. I touched the tree. And when I touched the tree, my hand was vibrating, like literally, like, like that. I was oh my goodness. And I was just like, poof, empowered with the energy of the dragon. When, because I got the energy, I said, oh my God, this is the energy of the dragon. It's so powerful. I recognize it. And it's like, what is the dragon the dragon wants to, to tell me? And uh, so I went and then I started to write in my journal. And one of the qualities that I was empowered with at the time, I mean like two weeks ago, yeah, it was clarity and clear vision. So my levels of clarity and clear vision were boosted to the next level. And so a friend of mine took a picture of me while I was um, connecting with the power of the dragon via this tree. And when I look at the picture, I was like, oh my God, it looks like a dragon. And it does look like a dragon. And I posted on a social media and one of my friends told me, really, it's a dragon energy. So people recognize the dragon energy. And now I'm inviting you to go on a short meditation with me to invoke the power of the dragon and get a feeling, get a taste of this energy. Okay, so let's close the eyes. Take a deep breath in and exhale, let it go. Relax your body, deep breath in and exhale. Keep breathing in and out. Getting ready to receive the energy of the dragon. Deep breath in. And exhale, let it all out, let it go. I call in the spirit of the dragon with honor and respect. May the dragon energy help me and assist me with my personal power, with my spiritual growth, personal magnetism, protection take a deep breath in and exhale let it go I ask you to guide me to make great decisions in my life to enhance my personal awareness my personal growth to make smooth transition and accept the change for my highest purpose, for my Dharma. Thank you. Now I'm inviting you to bring your awareness to your heart chakra around your breastbone and really open this beautiful chakra. Just open it, open it. Breathing in into this beautiful chakra and let it go. Exhale. Invite the dragon within to open your heart chakra and feel some energy here. See the golden light. Whatever color comes to your mind, dragons speak to you in different colors and symbols and numbers. Whatever comes to you, just allow it to penetrate into your heart chakra. You are now connected with your dragon within. Ask your dragon to grant a wish. Make a wish. Take your time. So when you finish with your wish, 
ask your dragon to depart but before thank him or her for allowing you to connect with the dragon within so thank you thank you thank you and so it is Amen, Amen, Namaste. And now very gentle and very gracefully come back to your awareness. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, open the eyes. And I'm going to ask you, how was it? Was it powerful? Yes? No? Maybe? Okay, if it was powerful, whoo, dragon is here. If it wasn't that powerful, no worries. The dragon will come to you. Because you're here and you wanted to connect with the dragon. So that's very important. If you felt anything, please let me know in the comments below. If you didn't feel anything, no worries. Maybe you're going to feel tomorrow, there, day after tomorrow, next month, next, next year. It doesn't matter. Um, dragons are in our hearts. They're present with us. They're here to assist us, to help us in this crazy, magical times where there is a lot of darkness around us, but there is a lot of light and light is winning. We are winning. Yes? Yes, we are winning. Now, when you invoke your dragon next time, you can use your heart chakra, depending on what you really need to work with. For example, heart for love, for attracting, you know, magnetizing, um, if you need to work on your psychic awareness, spiritual gifts like um, uh, clairvoyance or clairaudience, uh, intuition, use the um, third eye. I use stones um, like um, tiger eye, citrine, or better, the organ pendants, right? Because they have uh, dragon jasper, citrine, garnet, they f for longevity, for prosperity, for protection granting wisdom and so much more and if you are really strongly resonating with the energy of the dragon then I strongly suggest you to work with the energy of the seven dragon empowerment because it will help you it will assist you and teach you how to invoke the dragon energy to work with the seven dragons dragons of earth of fire and the rest of them it will teach you a very potent meditation, like a loop of awareness that channels and activates the dragon within. It will help you to prepare for the meditation because a lot of us have struggled with meditation. So it will help you to uh, put you into the mood of um, meditation. It will help you and it will assist you with the seven dragon balls to grant you seven wishes, that's a wonderful one, to work with the seven hearts, to work with the balls, the seven dragon balls of energy and, and some other stuff over there. It's a very, very potent, very powerful one. But together with this, it's even more powerful. So I strongly suggest uh, to do that. In the meantime, stay with the dragon energy, invoke. I mean, you know how to invoke it. It's very simple, yeah? There's no complication there. Um, I wish you many blessings and may the dragons always help you and assist you on your divine journey. Peace, blessings, namaste. Hmm.